Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, I'm going to talk about sales order processing in Acumatica. To do that, we're going to take a look at our agenda, and we're going to start basically with sales order entry and then branch into these other functions. So we're going to talk about sales order entry, then shipping, updating inventory, and then invoicing and walking through each of these steps. All right, we're gonna start with order entry in Acumatica. So here I am in the distribution module and sales orders, and I'm in the entry screen for sales orders. So let's, we're just gonna create a new sales order here. So I hit the plus sign for the next sales order. We'll go ahead and select a customer. And after we select the customer, it pulls in the customer's primary location. It's pulled in today's date as the order date. And on the document details tab, we'll go ahead and add the item that we're going to sell. So I'm just going to select this inventory item. It's a Acer laptop computer. I'm just going to tab through the lines here. We'll sell one computer at a unit price of $500. And we'll tab through. And you can see in Acumatica, we have a requested date, which is today's date but we also have a ship date, and I'm going to suggest that we ship this on Friday the 15th, and some shipping rules and things like that. So I just wanna complete this line. So we've done our order entry. The next thing we're gonna talk about is shipping. So now we're gonna go ahead and move this through the process. So I'm gonna to go to the actions option here and I'm going to create a shipment off of this order. So I'm gonna click create shipment. And it's gonna ask me the shipping date. I'll go ahead and choose the 15th and say, okay. And now we're in shipping data entry. It's pulled the information from the sales order. You can see this line from the sales order has been brought forward. The shipped quantity is now a quantity of one and everything is as it should be. So the next thing we're going to do is update the inventory. Now, updating the inventory is an optional function. If you skip it, the inventory will be updated automatically when you do the invoicing. But if you don't want to wait until the invoice is done, you can update the inventory prior to doing the invoice. So from here, we're gonna to go to actions and we're gonna confirm the shipment. So we're gonna say, yes, this shipment is done. And we can print shipping documents, things like that from here. In fact, we might as well do that while we're here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the document here. Well, let's go back to our shipment screen. And our next action then is going to be to update inventory. Update IN means update inventory. And when we do this, it's gonna take this one item out of inventory. So we'll do that. Now that's been confirmed. So our next step is to invoice this shipment. So now that we are on our shipment and we've confirmed the shipment, our next step is to prepare the invoice, which creates the invoice in accounts receivable. And you can see that our invoice number is AR5723, has all the information on it, and then we would release the invoice to post it. So let's go ahead and release the invoice. There we go. So now that we've done all of this, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the order so go back to sales orders. And this is the sales order that we just did. And I want you to notice that there's another tab over here called shipments. And on the shipments tab, it has all the information. So it has the shipping document. So we can drill into the shipping document from here. It also has the invoice. So we can actually drill into the invoice as well from here. It also has the inventory transaction document since we updated inventory and it shows the inventory transaction issue that was issued to the shipment. So all of this information historically from this transaction is residing over here on the shipments tab. Now I wanna look at the inventory item for a moment. So I'm gonna go back to the 
shipment. And let's just go ahead and drill into the item. Now, I didn't do this before we started, and I could have shown you that there were 80 of these items on hand, and now you can see there are 79. Well, I can show you that the transactions that have happened here as well. So we can look at the transaction history for this item. And you can see for the wholesale warehouse, you can see that we had 80. Here's the transaction with that reference number. And now we took one out of inventory, ending quantity is 79. There's the unit cost, et cetera. So what we see in Acumatica is all of the transactions that were affected by this process of going from the sales order to the shipment, the shipment confirmation to the invoice, the invoice release and the inventory transactions. You can see that all here. Now we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna do it again. So let's go ahead and start with another sales order. I'm gonna create a new one. Choose the same customer. And at the document details, choose the same item. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you a different way to do it. So we'll go ahead and tab through all of this stuff. We'll change the ship date to the 15th. And get to the second line here. And let's go ahead and save this order. Now we're going to go to the processes tab and we're going to process the order. And you're going to see this is one of the orders here. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you is notice that it lists multiple orders. And these orders are for the same customer. So unlike some other applications, you can ship multiple orders together in the same shipment. To do that, we would just select the checkbox on both of these orders. Now I'm not going to, we'll go ahead and just choose the one. My action here is create shipments. Let's go ahead and process that. So now I can go to process shipments and I can confirm the shipment and you'll see that shipment. We'll go ahead and do that, process that. Go back here and now we'll prepare the invoice. Let's do that first. Process that. Now we'll go to the process invoices memos and there are the invoices that we can release and we will process that. So it's the same series of steps that we just did a moment ago, walking through a single sales order from start to finish, starting with the sales order, finishing with a released invoice. But on the processes tab here, you can do multiple sales orders, multiple, multiple shipments, multiple invoices, instead of doing them one document at a time. So I wanted to show that to you. Our agenda again was sales order entry. We went through the order entry process, the shipping process, the creating of the shipment, the confirming of the shipment. We updated the inventory created the invoice, and then we released the invoice. And we looked at all of the historical transactions that have occurred from all those processes. Some information about our channel and our group. You can find us on YouTube. You can look for us on LinkedIn, and you can contact Henry at hkim at nimsassociates.com or give him a call and look at all this information. Once again, we want to thank you for your time today. Hopefully this information was useful and valuable to you. Thank you very much and have a great day.